Good morning, my friends. This is Ember Jackson. I am the senior pastor of First United Methodist Church, Tupelo. I'd like to begin by sharing a word of prayer with us today as we begin our devotion. God, come now, touch us, fill us with your spirit. Give us the ability not to lose faith and hope, but to be able to sing songs of praises to you, O God. Give us the ability, dear God, to know even in times of pandemic, times of racial strife and injustice, that you have promised us that we are your people. Open me up at this time, dear God, to be able to share your word with these your people. This I ask in thy name. Amen. The last psalm is entitled, Praise for God Surpassing Greatness. It is Psalm 150. Hear now these words. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It seems rather contradictory that the author of Psalms is talking about praising God with musical instruments. That this author is talking about praising God with our singing, with breath. And he says, let everything that breathes, every creature, praise God. I don't know about you, but every now and then I get an opportunity to go out into the backyard of our house and to listen at birds as they sing sweetly in the trees, to listen at nature at its best, and it appears to be praising God. During this time of pandemic, we are unable, it seems, to have choirs, unable to have large groups singing, but that should not prevent us from singing and praising God, because God is worthy to be praised even during times like this. The author of Psalm 150 reminds us that every living creature ought to praise God. We ought to praise God because it is God who made us and it is not we who made ourselves. We ought to praise God because God blesses us with so many things, with family, friends, loved ones, God blesses us with the very life we hold so dear. And we can do no more than to praise God. And so, my friends, during this time of pandemic, racial unrest and injustice, this time of conflict between political parties and nations, this time of overwhelming burden in our lives, we still must Praise God. And so I remind us today, and I remind myself today, that we must praise God. And if you're able to sing, sing a song of praise to God. If you're able to play an instrument, play an instrument of praise to God. If you're able to read scripture, say a scripture and uplift God in the reading of the scripture, if we're able to pray, let us pray and give all honor and praise to God because God is worthy to be praised. People of God, hear now these words. Praise God in spirit and in truth. May all God's people say, Amen.